What's up? It's Camila, and today I'm going to be showing you everything in my everyday and my work bags that I carry around in New York City. This is my work bag. It is a fanny pack. Yes, you may notice. I don't know many people whose work bag is a fanny pack, but my work bag is indeed a fanny pack. First, I was skeptical of the fanny pack, as I feel like most people are. I work in TV production, and I'm usually on set, and having something like a fanny pack, which just kind of wraps around your waist, and you don't have to think about losing it or anything, and you have everything on hand, was so appealing. So you can see on the front here, it has this little velcro pocket and this little zipper pocket. In the Velcro pocket, I have my credit card and my Metro card. So these two things, basically, if I need to add money to my Metro card, because usually on set they provide you with food and my Metro card to get to wherever I'm going, obviously. And I also have, <laughs> this is from a music video I did maybe three or four months ago. Um, it was a, like a heavy metal music video. They played the music so loud that they gave out earplugs. And I only have one earplug left for some reason. Let's get into the second pocket. This fanny pack, I'm going to put the link down below if you guys want to buy it. It's available on Amazon. There's only one thing in that zipper pocket, and that is this chapstick. So those are the two front pockets. I'm now going to dive into this, which is the main pocket. So in here, I keep a hand sanitizer. I can't go on set without hand sanitizer because to be honest sets are really gross there are usually tons of people in the crew everybody's touching the same stuff and it is just nice to have this around so that is why I have this it is the mojito mint hand sanitizer and it is a spray I will put some of this bad boy on right now so the next thing in here is this USB cord this is literally just to charge my phone that is the only purpose for it I'm wondering what I plug it into it is this this holds four charges of battery, which is incredible. I used to have one of these, but it only held one um, charge of battery. It'll just tell you on the front how many, like, you know, charges it has. I'll link this down below as well. It is a lifesaver on set. I never run out of charge, and I'm never worried that my phone's gonna run out. So the next thing I have, let's see what we got. This is a recent addition. I used to never carry a pen around with me on set. Um, that is such a mistake because you never know when you're gonna need a pen. Um, and if you're the PA that doesn't have a pen, it just makes you look bad. So that is everything in the main compartment of this fanny pack. I also have this super secret back pocket of the fanny pack, which doesn't actually have anything in it because I forget it's there because it's so sneaky, but basically you don't even notice it from the outside when it's on, you don't notice it. So this fanny pack, as you can see, my dog chewed, um, it's kind of a gamble if it's going to work or not. There we go, I got it to work. Um, and it just, you know, straps around me and it looks pretty, pretty suave if I do say so myself. It's black so it's very subtle. I think it was like $15. If you guys are interested, I'll link it below. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the fanny pack slash work bag. I'm now going to move on to my everyday bag. So this is the bag. It is from Guess. It is a backpack. I got it in London maybe two years ago. I think it was about 100 pounds. It is made out of synthetic leather. And as you can see, it has one big compartment inside. It also has this little zip compartment, and it has this front zip compartment, and then these two side zip compartments. So the first thing I have in here, which I carry everywhere, is my small water bottle. Um, I simply like these because they're very well insulated. The next thing I have in the main compartment is my Polaroid. This is an Instax Mini 70. I'm doing the taking a Polaroid every day for a year challenge, I guess you'd call it, and I've been taking them since last July. So I carry around this Polaroid to most places I go, just so I can take a picture for that day. I'll also stick a link to this down below as well if you guys want to pick up an Instax. So I have these little compartments over here, I don't know if you can see, and I just found a dirty sock in one, so um, I don't really know what to think of that. It's a really gross sock as well, I think I'm just going to throw that away. It's covered in dog hair. Now let's move into the front pocket of this. This is where I usually keep my wallet and keys, etc. So I have my house keys in there, which I've already showed you. I also have this full-size wallet. Um, this is from... Where is this from? This is a Marc Jacobs wall. It is real leather. I've, I've had it for seven years now. I don't buy leather anymore, but I am going to use this wallet until it wears out. Um, it has a little container to hold your phone, but this wallet is so old that it's like a really old model of the phone, and my phone doesn't fit in here. Actually, it might. Let's try that bad boy. kind of fits. It would probably fit if I didn't have this black case on, but who knows. Um, so yeah, that is my wallet. It has all the standard things. An extra Metro card. I have my driver's license. I have something that's sticky. That doesn't sound too good, does it? I also have a hand sanitizer. I usually have a different hand sanitizer, but right now I'm using the same hand sanitizer for both bags. Besides my house keys, I also have these keys. These are for the museum, which I volunteer at. Um, it is the 9-11 Museum Workshop. So lastly, we have these two pockets on the side. These are one of my favorite things about this backpack. So the first one, there appears to be absolutely nothing. Second one, let's see. So firstly, a hairbrush. So this hairbrush I think I bought with the intention of using this backpack as an overnight bag. 
bag and having this to save space so I didn't have to bring an actual hairbrush. But um, this hairbrush is pretty good. I haven't used it in months, but it is a great hairbrush. I also have these band-aids in case I get a blister. Very prepared of me, I must say. As well as that, oh my god, I have contact lenses in here. I wish I had known about this because then I would have used them when I was out of contact lenses a couple weeks ago. So the last pocket, which I totally forgot about, is this inside zip pocket. I keep a thing of candies in here. They are hard candy, pear and cinnamon, which I never actually eat and I don't plan on eating now to be honest. Overall, I freaking love this backpack. It is my favorite backpack ever. I'm having some issues with the straps lately, but I think that's my fault, not the backpack. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye guys.